Hello guys, welcome back to my England career mode save on FIFA 18 with me, Bromo18. We are now on episode 3 and today it sees us go against Norway and Greece in two friendlies in October. If you missed the first two episodes, be sure to go and check them out first before watching this video. Uh, we have two scenarios in play at the moment, one of which was that Deli Ali uh, cannot play for the rest uh, of the calendar year because of the fact that he'd uh, gone out drinking the night before uh, the World Cup qualifier against Bulgaria. Uh, and then in the last episode, we had our second scenario introduced where the FA said that they wanted us to use young players of the age of 24 or younger, uh, sorry, 23 or younger, um, uh, for the next two friendlies. So with that in mind, this is the side that we have chosen today. So, as you can see, pretty experimental, which the scenario sort of, you know, forced our hand into doing that really. But nevertheless, I'm really excited to use this team. Jordan Pickford in goal, of course. Uh, Eric Dyer Johnstone's Jamal Lascelles at centre half. These two, you know, part and parcel of the England side anyway, to be fair. But Jamal Lascelles gets his opportunity today. And then Luke Shaw and Trent Alexander Arnold uh, on either side. I was actually. Um, you know, limited in terms of right backs to choose uh, with the under 23 side, but thankfully he was there. Uh, I don't really have another right back. Joe Gomez is an option, uh, but uh, I definitely prefer him at centre half, to be honest. Uh, and then in midfield, we have Nathaniel Chalaba uh, and Harry Winks. Again, Winks has really broken into the uh, to the England setup in the last you know six months or so. He came and played really well. Uh, he's been doing. Uh, really well for Spurs as well, to be fair, when he's been given a chance. Chalibur as well, now in the first team at Watford. Uh, you know, so both these definitely deserve their chance. Lewis Cook in the number 10 role. I'm a big, big fan of him. Um, you know, it was very frustrating to see last season when he was at Bournemouth. He wasn't really getting a chance. Uh, then he went and won the, uh, the under-20s World Cup with England. Um, and since then, he's been, you know, more of a feature in the team, which is fantastic to see. And he gets his start today. Uh, and up front, Tammy Abraham and Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Uh, again, these were probably the uh, the best young strikers, other than you know Marcus Rashford, really. Um, but I, I wanted to give these two a chance. I think these uh, these could make for a really good combination, both pacey uh, and both tall as well, quite strong. So looking forward to using them. On the bench, we have Angus Gunn, Alfie Mawson, Callum Chambers, Ben Chilwell, Will Hughes, Tom Davies, and Marcus Rashford. Uh, and then these guys make up uh, the best of the rest. Uh, definitely want to experiment though in the second game, uh, get a few of these guys, give them a chance as well. Uh, Tom Davies and Will Hughes, etc. Looking forward to using them, Alfie Mawson as well. Uh, so yeah, we're definitely going to try and give them a chance. But yeah, that's the game. Uh, sorry, that's the team we go with today in today's game against Norway. Should be a decent test uh, before our second match against Greece. So looking forward to it. So without further ado, let's get into the game. Okay, so off we go then. I'm waiting to see the lineups. Again, they don't. They didn't show up in the uh, in the pre-match cinematic. Uh, I just want to see what Norway are going with. I mean, the likes of you know, probably Erdegaard, Josh King in it, etc. Um, let's have a look here. I'm just gonna just gonna go ultra attacking as well. Let's really put them on in Nordven, Nordvoi even. Sorry, uh, Al Yunusi, uh, Sorloff, of course. Oh, um, Josh King actually isn't in it, which is surprising. But Sorloff is in it. Uh, 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 Crystal Palace at the moment um, so yeah should be a decent test Arnold trying to keep track of his man what a cross <laughs> and he's straight to apologising to his teammates of course that's nice play Spots the run of Lewis Cook, and he's in, and it's 1-0. That is a nice goal. And Lewis Cook gets his first on his debut for England. And it's a really nice, well-worked goal. As you can see here, uh, just work, working it really nicely. Cook 
starts his run he's after laying it off and he's kept it going it's a nice finish he's made the goalkeeper actually i think the goalkeeper will be disappointed that he didn't manage to uh, to get a save onto that but yeah nevertheless one nil need alexander arnold oh well played eric dyer and it's out again oh it's lovely can he slot him through oh lewis cook unlucky uh, and that is half time on that note as well. So 1 0 so far. It's a decent performance from our young boys. We've got to remember that, you know, these are Norway are probably just as high rated as, uh, as as our team that we've got out today, you know. So, uh, so yeah, they're doing well so far. The two fullbacks looking uh, tired, understandably, so they cover a lot of ground. And, and I've noticed that, you know, I've used this formation in, other, uh, in another career that I'm doing as well. Uh, and, it, you know, you have to have. It's probably not so bad in. Um, in international football, but in uh, a club career mode, you have to have uh, backup fullbacks sort of competent in those positions because uh, they, they, without a doubt, get 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 tired in uh, in those positions. They expend a lot of energy. They cover more ground than anyone else in the team. So I mean, look, yeah, you can see Alexander Arnold there. He's you know the furthest forward at one point. So definitely, we might have to bear that in mind for the World Cup. Thankfully, we do have plenty of reserves, um, providing a scenario doesn't. Uh, prevent us from using those players, but we'll we'll see anyway. Over to Lewin, he finds a run of Shaw. He wants him to continue, and he does. That's a nice play, and lucky. Can we get it out over to Arnold on that right side? No, we can't. That's a good chance now, and he's unmarked, and it's a good goal for Norway. To be fair. I could see that one coming. He was unmarked. I needed one of my three centre halves to mark him, and Solov, uh, for Chris, the Crystal Palace striker, has got onto it. It's a good finish, uh, but nevertheless, disappointing defending from ourselves. We could see that one coming. He manages to get in this, you know, three centre halves there. Two of them, Lascelles and uh, I think it's Stones as well, losing. Pickford gets a hand onto it, but to be fair, there's not a lot he could have done about that. You know, I don't have a problem with that. And uh, it's 1 1, game on. It's good to have this challenge, you know. I've found, I've, you know, I do play in Legendary and I have still seem to be winning, you know, almost every game um, in any career mode that I do. And, you know, it gets a bit boring and I, I'd prefer the challenge. So, yeah, I'm happy to have this whilst uh, Calvert-Lewin nearly comes close there. It's well played from Jamal LaSalle's, but Norway still have the ball. Oh, he's been turned there. It's free on the side, on the edge of the box even. And he gets a shot away, and that was worrying for us. Uh, and we are going to make a couple of substitutions now. My two fullbacks are just, you know, absolutely off their feet. We'll bring on Ben Chilwell. I'll tell you what, we'll bring on Callum Chambers as well. Uh, because he can play at right back, so I will play him at right wing back. Uh, he's not ideal, but uh, it's going to have to do. We're going to keep it there. You know, I want to generally want to uh, give the rest of these players their, their full chance. As Sorloff goes off, I'm surprised they're taking him off. Uh, but nevertheless, that's, that's hopefully good for us. Ben Chua now, can he get onto the end of this ball? He puts the pressure on and that will do. Harry Winks allows us to get, hit him on the break again and there we go. Nathaniel Chalabat, he wants the run of Abraham. Abraham is now in. Can he muscle off his defender? He can. Oh, it's poor. How has he missed? He's done all of the hard work and he somehow missed the target. No. That's, oh, that's so poor. That's really, really disappointing. I mean, Jensen, uh, who's a, uh, a regular follower of my channel, gives me a lot of support. Uh, really grateful. Said in, uh, in the last episode, he commented saying, you know, he's really not a fan of Abraham. And, uh, and I think that's... <laughs> That's going to have uh, proved his point, at least uh, at least on FIFA anyway. Um, yeah, almost the last kick of the game that was. It's now full time, you know. Really, uh, really disappointed that he couldn't get the finish there. So unlucky. Uh, nevertheless, Norway, they actually gave us a good test. And uh, and yeah, that was that was really enjoyable. Much better to, to watch that. Nevertheless, I did enjoy playing with that side. And uh, looking forward to the next game which is against Greece. Lewis Cook gets one of the match, understandably so. He's played He's played well. Um, 
Yeah, so I better, I'm going to decide the team now. We'll probably make a few changes, but uh, we'll see. So I will see you shortly. Okay, guys, so we are back once again. We have now got Greece at home. And shout out to uh, a few of uh, my subscribers who are actually uh, from Greece who have uh, you know an affinity to their Greek freak in particular he gives me a lot of support on my channels um, you know so he'll be watching this one with uh, with a keen interest um, and onto the team uh, we have three changes to the last side Will Hughes, Ben Chilwell and Alfie Mawson uh, come into the side slight change though uh, Nathaniel Chalaba uh, goes out onto the right uh, Hughes comes in for Arnold and then Hughes drops into the centre midfield position and like I said you know we are struggling for that right back position so uh, I think Nathaniel Chalaba is the uh, the best option uh, as a holding mid, you know defensive minded midfielder uh, really looking forward to using these these three central midfielders I'm a big fan of those three Harry Winks Lewis Cook um, and Will Hughes I think they've really got a, a chance to shine uh, with each other. They all complement each other. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Tammy Abraham gets his chance for redemption. I was going to put in Marcus Rashford, but I've decided no. You know, let's uh, let's give him another opportunity. Same with Calvert-Lewin. So, uh, yeah, we, we go again into the game against Greece. This should be a tough test, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. Right, so off we go back to uh, back to here. Ultra attacking once again, uh, and we go again. Hopefully, we can get the win this time. Uh, and that is half time, and I'm going to make changes because uh, it's just not been good enough at all. No, that's not what I want to do. Um, Abraham's got to come off. I think. I think we're going to uh, we're going to bring Rashford on. Uh, Winks is looking tired. I think I'm going to drop Lewis Cook. I will bring on Damari Gray. Uh, try and jet a little bit of pace into it, uh, and he's tired. I mean, what do you do? I suppose I'm gonna have to bring bring Chambers on. Um, bring anyone else on? We'll go with that for now. Not a lot more options. So into the second half we go. Hopefully uh, Rashford and Gray etc can uh, can have an impact on the game. Lewis Cook now tries to bring it out. Gray gives it to Rashford. Now Rashford first chance with the ball. Oh, he's got onto that after the slide. Rashford, he's still going. Oh, he's been caught there, which is unlucky. And he goes on with the ball. I wish I could have had the free kick. Hughes sees Rashford on the run. Oh, but it is offside. Bright spark from Marcus Rashford there, though, straight away. They need to give him more support. Just like here now, Chambers. Oh, it's a good turn from Chambers. Over on a far post. Gray's free. Oh, it's so close. So unlucky. If that had been maybe Carl Lewin or Marcus Rashford, perhaps, he would have hit the target and we'd have seen it in the back of the net. But Damari Gray is not the one you want at the end of that. Really unlucky. It's a good play from Callum Chambers on the right-hand side. Easy. Jamal LaSalle's covers and we go again. That's a nice play there from Lewis Cook. He's done well to control and pass that. Ball to Calvert-Lewin from Chilwell. Needs a bit of support now. He's going to have to go back to Chilwell. Where he crossed in? Damari Gray now. Oh, it's a lovely shimmy from Damari Gray. Oh, and he's going for goal, but it opened up for me. And it happened too late, though. I'd already pressed shot, uh, and I wasn't able to. That. The space opened up. The defender sort of ran out of the way there. Vacated the space, but I'd already pressed shoot, which is you know, really unfortunate. Well, one from Lewis Cook, high at the pitch, and we've got a chance now. He needs a run. Cavalu needs to break away from his man. No, that's a poor pass. He doesn't go where I want it to go. I want it to go on the outside of Calvert Lewin, and on that note, I'm going to have to make a couple of changes here. Ben Chilwell, he's, he's knackered. He's going to have to go off. I think Luke Shaw will come on. Tom Davies as well. Probably for Lewis Cook, he's looking tired. Will Hughes has played well, so we'll keep him on. And that's about it. We can't do a lot more after that. We've only got Joe Gomez and Angus Gunn on the bench. So, uh, you know, they're not attacking options, of course. So we'll go with that. You know, nevertheless, we're on the front foot. This is promising. Can we get that goal? Rashford, give and go. One back from the Greece defender, though. He's done well. Oh, he's done, ve oh, he's done very well. And Greece can come out from the back now. We've committed a lot of men. Fat fats it is. Fat fats it is even. Oh, Mawson's give it away. We need to watch that run there. Oh, no, but Mawson's letting go. He's turned. 
And he's in and he's scored. And it is 1-0 out of nowhere. Greece smash and grabs much. That is out of the blue. If you'll pardon the pun there. But um, wow, where has that come from? Mawson, he doesn't turn quick enough. This was a subject in the last two episodes about our defenders. Don't turn quick enough. He needs to turn into his man. And as soon as he misses him, he needs to be back out uh, on the run. Uh, but he doesn't. Slightly my fault, but slightly I felt you know that he should have turned quicker there. Um, and Greece, nevertheless, so they've you know they've soaked up the pressure and hit us on the break. Fair play to them. Um, and they are in dreamland now. Can they hold on to this? Can we get the goal? We're gonna have to go all out attack. You just seen Luke Shaw now on the run. Can he cross it in? It's blocked. Again, another opportunity. No, he won't. It's out. Mawson gets it. Needs to lay it off now, just in front. No, that's nowhere near where I want to go. Alfie Mawson again, and Greece can break here. Wow, they've got a good opportunity again. Fatsy this. He's turned inside on his man. That's better from Alfie Mawson. Oh, we can't even get it to our, to our forwards now. The passing is poor. Luke Shaw out to Calvert-Lewin, and Calvert-Lewin to Chilwell. No, Stones even, not Chilwell. What will Stones do with the ball? It's good play. He's got the option now. He needs to run from Rashford. Oh, what can he do? One cross left. Shaw's there at the back post. No way. It's so unlucky. And that is full time, guys. Greece have won out of nowhere. They've got the win. Fair play to them. You know, some scenes there, they're delighted. And so they should be. A fantastic execution of their game plan. They've done really well. But for us, that is really disappointing. We should have been... Uh, we should have made more of our, our chances. He says you see there, one shot, one goal, you know, clinical. But for us, we weren't that clinical. We needed to be uh, show more quality in the final third. Uh, and a one lapse of concentration at the back. And that leads to them uh, winning the game. And, and fair play, fair play to them. But dis as I say, disappointing for us. And uh, in two games, we only have one draw for the young guys. But nevertheless, I really enjoy playing with them. Uh, and you know we'll we'll have to see now if they uh, if they go back uh, into the side some of them at least uh, in the next friendlies which um, we'll look at now they are against Peru uh, and Norway but um, yeah we're now going to go into the scenario uh, as you see Peru and Norway next we're going to get have a scenario now at the end of uh, of the episode uh, this one will now reset in terms of using the young players. Uh, but Deli Ali will still be out for the rest of the uh, of the calendar year, so cannot be used in these two uh, friendlies. And on that note, we're now gonna go into the scenario and see what we get. Okay, guys. So you're probably wondering why I'm still on the calendar screen, uh, and that is I've had a slight change of heart. I've decided I'm going to stick with this young team for the next two friendlies as well against Norway and Peru. Really enjoyed using them. I want to give them another chance. So we're going to skip the scenario and they will return in episode five in the friendlies against Scotland and Portugal for 2018. The last two friendlies before the World Cup begins. So be sure to come back to them. But yeah, in the next episode, we're going to stick with this young team against Norway and Peru uh, and give them another chance and see how they do. So on that note, guys, you have now reached the end of the episode if you've made it through this far then thank you very much for the support i really really do appreciate it please drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it leave a dislike if you didn't and let me know what i can do to improve uh, and what improvements you'd like to see uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh, and on that note i've been bromo 18 and i will see you very soon Peace.